cold. I guess that means climate change isn't happening, right? Sorry, it doesn't quite work that way. You can have a cold day in a warming world. We can visualize it this way. Let's say this die represents our weather. See, it's got six sides and two of them are red. If you roll those sides, you're going to have a day that's warmer than normal. It's got two blue sides and if you roll those, you're going to have a day that's cooler than normal. And if you roll these, one of these two gray sides, you're going to have a day that's about average. If I roll the die, that's going to be my weather for the day. Now, you can see from this that there's an equal chance of having a cooler than normal day, a normal day, or a warmer than normal day. If I roll the die lots of times, I'm going to have plenty of each. But there'll be about equal numbers of warm days, cool days, and average days. Oh, looks like it's going to be a cold one. Now, in this example, the roll of the die, that's your weather. The die itself, that's your climate. If we want to see what happens when the climate changes, well, we actually have to change the die. This one represents the weather in a warming world. In this example, three of the sides are warmer than the old average. Two of the sides will be average, about the same as the old average, and only one of the sides will be colder than the old average. See, now if we start rolling the die lots of times, once in a while we'll get a cold day, but it's far more likely that we'll get an average day or a hot day. You still can have a cold day in a warming world. It's just a whole lot less likely. So is this what is happening in the real world? You be the judge. Here is one way to visualize temperature around the world. This is a graphic from NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies. It shows the average temperature from the entire year in 2010. Everywhere that the temperature is above average for that area, the plot shows yellow or red. Everywhere that the temperature is below average, it shows blue or purple. See how there are fewer areas with lower than normal temperatures? In an average year like this one from 1978, you would see about the same amount of warm and cool areas. But in 2010, just like in our example with the warm dye, there are far more warm areas than cool ones. This is also true for 2009, 2008, and 2007. So you can see that it is possible to have cool temperatures in a warming world. It grows less and less likely as the climate warms. Try it yourself with the activity in this section in the Moodle.